What's up, beautiful Leo gang? How's it going? I hope this video finds you well. Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That's me. My name's Annie. We are going to kick off a short little fun, hopefully a fun love spread for you. Uh, the tarot messages related in this video will be about love, romance, relationships, uh, whatever lens you choose to view it through. Uh, it could be romantic love. It could also be, you know, familial love, right? So totally up to you. I'm probably going to skew it more towards romantic love because generally those are the messages that tend to come through why people like to peek on tarot videos. So anyway, welcome. Welcome guys. Uh, for the newbies, my quick spiel, these are general messages. Not everything I say will resonate with all the Leos out there. I can guarantee you that. Uh, pieces and parts of this reading will very likely resonate for you. I hope lots and lots of it does. That's my goal here, but please don't be offended if it's not your message this time. It won't be every time. That's just how these uh, general messages work. Um, you will always be in the driver's seat of your life. It's up to you what messages you want to take away here today. Highly recommend you take away messages uh, that resonate with you, motivate you, inspire you, speak to you in some way, confirm something you needed to hear, um, or the opposite, illuminate you to something new. Um, so those are my rules. No more rules. We're done with that. <laughs> Everything else is down in the description box below, including the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media channels. I am The Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram, as well as .com. Like, share, subscribe wherever you can, including on this video. That helps me a whole lot. Uh, that helps my channel analytics, guys. And ultimately, I am trying to grow this channel and reach a wider audience. So if you hit the like button, if you leave a comment this, that this resonates, that does help me a whole lot, even though it may seem insignificant. It really does help me gain some traction. So if you are able to do that, that's great. Um, I come at these messages with love and positivity, so I ask that that's what you take away. If something doesn't resonate, rather than leaving a negative comment, I would appreciate just click off, find a new tarot reader, right? That's cool. I, if I don't connect with your energy, again, it's not personal. It's just simply not your energy that I'm uh, connecting with. Okay, enough, enough, enough. I know. <laughs> Three more cards for Leo. Three more cards. Three more cards for Leo, please. Love, romance. What do they need to know? Three more cards. Two more cards. Oh, that one fell off the table. Six of cups. We'll take it. <sighs> But I almost, I'm almost i going to pick it up. I'm so sorry. This is going to be super awkward because I have a tight little situation going on here, guys. One second. Oh. Uh, I almost take that to mean because Six of Cups is all about nostalgia and kind of like looking at the past. I'm wondering if you're being told to like drop it, drop the past. Again, not for everybody, right? But let's see what this tarot reading says. So bottom of your deck is the fool, a brand new beginning towards the wheel of fortune, good luck and love. And I think this is your energy. You're leaving something behind that was really disappointing, something that was you know, potentially soul crushing or just a, like a hardship, something really dark where it may, something may not have ended in the highest vibration. It could have been kind of like a damn it like I, I hate that that's what happened but ultimately it's picking up the pieces and moving on with new excitement with new passion towards something new you guys this doesn't feel like it's revisiting the past I got to be honest with you even with the six of cups there that's coming up for a reason um, and we'll look into it but yeah this feels like you're you're being asked to look for potentially new opportunities in love it could potentially be an earth sign it doesn't have to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but this is really beautiful energy so if you are sort of stuck right now if you are going through it if you are sort of stuck in your feels or just kind of questioning a lot of things sort of sort of like a why did this have to happen to me I'm acknowledging that I, I do sense that that energy is coming through ultimately it is about seeing the silver lining of it and this is a message that's very hard to hear especially in the moment if you're still suffering from something you know give yourself like the time and space to heal from it but ultimately the the way out of this right the the escape the silver lining is that something about the really difficult situation you went through did actually enlighten you to some new information and it's probably about what you want to seek in a love or romantic partner the next time around right maybe you learned a really brutal lesson about your own self-love or your own self-care or the love that you were settling for or, or the opposite maybe you had too high of standards and so your person left because they felt like they could never fill that void or do you know what I mean there's a lot of different severities or a lot of different options that that's coming through but ultimately the 10 is an ending so someone in this relationship maybe it's your person is getting out of something where it, it felt like they got the wind knocked out of them um, but from that if they're willing to put in a little bit more fight and gusto and get back out there when they are healed right when they are ready be it you or your person they have beautiful blessings coming into them potentially with an Aquarius or an Aries or again maybe an earth sign that's indic I almost called you Sagittarius Leo interesting so maybe you're dealing with a Sag but that's indicating your fiery energy the night looking for love and passion and change and sex and romance right in your in your love life 
All right, so let's look at your energy. Uh, King of Swords, you're trying to make well-informed, thoughtful decisions. As you release things of the past, there may be a need to go and close something out with a person. Or, I mean, you do have judgment in the Six of Cups. So something involving this relationship does involve the past. It could be that you're getting out of a relationship that, again, really did a number on you, especially if there was a lot of fights, a lot of arguments where there was never any peaceful resolution. So, yes, yeah, somebody in that relationship decides to cut it. It could be a Libra. So if that's the case, if this doesn't represent the other person that you're thinking of from the past, because in this spread, it's something about wanting to dig up the past. It's more of something, it's more like a lighthearted quality. So I'm wondering if by ending something else, it allows you, it's something, it opens up your network to revisit people from your past and it could be like a childhood crush or someone you went to college with or high school with or someone that maybe you you dated a bit here and there, but you know, for, for divine timing reasons, it didn't work out. That could be the case where you might be re revisiting someone else from the past, but I don't want to be clear, it wouldn't be this person who did all the damage to you. Like, unless again, this could represent your person too, if all that feels strange or foreign. There, I am sensing there may have been a divorce or a, a splitting up of a marriage because it is linked to this card, okay? Um, so you do have the king and queen of swords. It doesn't matter what gender you are. This can be a same-sex couple. They're simply a pairing, a marriage couple, if you will, because they both carry that sword. Their elemental is the same, right? So it, extremely intelligent, it's extremely well-informed, um, extremely witty, extremely well-spoken, right? Usually like my mathematicians, my scientists, very like teachers even, right? The, the information and knowledge is, is sort of like their, their home base, so to say. But with that, if this is representing the couple that split, you guys probably had really good uh, like witty chemistry back and forth, bouncing little like cute ideas and flirtations back and forth, but ultimately both very headstrong. They stand in their power and I'm sort of getting, it was a fight till the end because both of you refused to step down and, and you both saw yourself as being right. And, I, and I'm just getting whether that was true or not, there, there was no wiggle room. It's like, this is my truth and this is my life. And it, it seems like you're gonna fight me tooth and nail. So again, somebody seemed to have ended something, but here's the thing. I think one or both of you have options coming in. I mean, I'm almost certain of it with, with all these cards coming in. The Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the um, Wheel of Fortune indicates forward movement. The wheel is progressing towards newness. The Fool is the first card in the Major Arcana's like, Fool's Journey. For those who don't know, it's a very positive card. It's very lighthearted. There's a sense of freedom. If you felt trapped in a relationship with someone where there just was, it's like you guys were lacking love. It, what it boiled down to was a lot of temper and arguments and, and disagreements, right? I think you've set yourself free from that. And it's like the, the golden dawn I just heard. Um, yeah, so some of you may be involved in tarot reading, actually. But yeah, there's, there's something about there's a, there's a new light about you. There's a, like something about like, your complexion is, is nice. There's something about better, better mental health, better emotional health, setting yourself down this new path where you're just you're really like invigorated to go chase your dreams uh some of you could be applying to new jobs if that's the case there's going to be at least one offer that, that comes to you it might not be the absolute you know dream career but that's indicating to me changes in your career specifically too all right so yeah in your head you're revisiting something or someone from the past again it could just be some mental baggage you're holding on to from what feels like kind of a disastrous situation if it's not that it, it could indicate going back to a different person from your past to be like hey, so I'm kind of single now and I've always thought about you, but um, yeah. So with that, again, everybody's spiritual path is a little bit different. If you're looking to rebound, that again, no judgment, but I would make that clear because something about this person's energy might not understand that. Uh, if it's just sort of like a kind of got to get yourself back out there and feel like you're, you're wanted and desired again, which I got to be real, that, that is kind of a very Leo trait. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? But in a, in a lower vibration, you, you need to make sure that you're not using people just because you need to feel wanted, right? And I would say that to any sign, but there are certain things that, that, that get triggered for me and sorry, regarding certain zodiac signs. And for you, Leo, that's it. You are the lion, you know, the pride, the courage, sort of the, uh, like in a, in a sense, like the showiness of Leo. You guys are my actors and my artists and my entertainers. So there is a need to be received well by the public. Make sure that's not eating away at you. Make sure you value yourself. Make sure you love yourself. That's what I'm getting at, okay? Not trying to offend, not trying to judge. That's just, that's an important message for anyone, right? 
So in your heart space, yeah, there's you got you got a, a couple fives. So there's the person that you are fighting with and potentially struggling with uh, something a kind of competition, feeling like something about the airtime, fighting for the airtime. Uh, and I think that, that phrase typically means like you know feeling like your words are being received or or understood or you feel like you weren't being heard. This may have to do with your other six of cups person, potentially a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, you're looking back in the past and wondering if there's any, any potential there. So let's go ahead and clarify that for you. Five of swords for, for Leo, please. Five of swords for Leo. But there's some confusion. There's gray clouds ahead. Uh, you're not sure if you could like bridge the gap of, of history, of time. Maybe again, this could have been someone you dated briefly, but it didn't work out. And now you're kind of like, mm, should I go back? Yeah, so you have the devil. So there was probably either a lot of passion or, or um, it could just be sex. It could be someone that you're, and don't freak out when I say this word, like sort of like a mild obsession with. It, it could be someone you're kind of like stalking on social media and trying to figure out what they did. Okay, but then what's, okay, what's cluttering you? I got to be really honest with you guys. This, this is a tough love message, okay? What's impeding on this like, oh, I think I'll look back to the other person is your Ten of Swords person. So even if you are over them and you don't want to connect with them, you are seeking partnerships, some of you, right? That are validating your emotional worth uh, and then well-being because you're still in pain of, of what happened. So I'm telling you guys, if this is your story, don't make it your story if it's not, but if it is, there's part of you that hasn't fully healed from this and give yourself time, right? That's natural. It's not gonna instantly just be done with, right? This is what's coming in for you, that, that freedom, that lightheartedness. But this is saying you're still struggling with things that, that really broke you, that tore you down in the past. So if you're thinking of going back to someone in your past who isn't this one, it's something else, know that you're still carrying some of that emotional baggage with, and, and exactly what I said, make sure you're not toying with other people's emotions or feelings because it's almost like that's gonna deliver you right back to singlehood. It, it feels like subconsciously, I don't think consciously you're even aware, but it feels like you're playing this game of, okay, fine, well, if, if you don't need me or I don't want you, I'm just gonna go to this person because it's like, because I can. Oh, Leo, I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger. Feel free to swap the roles. Sometimes these energies go the other way, but yeah, fives are challenging, and I gotta be honest, this is a card of playing mental head games, winning at all costs. Don't leapfrog to people if you know in advance that they're looking for more than just to hit it and quit it, more than a one night stand. And there's nothing wrong with that. I want to be very clear. I am, you know, a sexual, sexual positive type person, right? This is my player night and it's presenting as your energy. So again, if you're just trying to get back out in the game and mingle with the folk, but not necessarily commit to one, nothing wrong with that. Some of you feel like that's what the universe is encouraging you to do, to get back out there and, you know, no strings attached, very lighthearted energy. I'm just saying, make sure that you're being upfront with, with the, your person or your people about that because that could cause a tower moment, right? It, especially in their life. So if somebody really did you dirty, Leo, and, and you, you are still holding on to some sort of of loss or resentment or regret or pain, make sure you're not transferring that pain onto your next sexual partner or romantic partner, okay? I, I hope you guys understand this. I think most of you know I come at these messages with love. I'm not here to beat you up and make you feel shitty. That's not my goal. That's not my intention. I'm trying to give you higher vibrational messages that at, at minimum expand your viewpoint, allow you to see things through a different lens. That's what tarot does. These messages are not necessarily me. These messages are coming up from the subconscious, the collective subconscious of my Leo gang out there. So I have faith that someone out there needs to hear this message, but I understand it might not be your message exactly. Okay. So your overall action is singlehood. And there's again, nothing wrong with this. I don't think it's, um, Virgin Mary pure type vibes. I think you're going out and mingling as I said, but I don't think you're looking for commitment. I don't think you're looking for marriage. Some of you, right? That doesn't mean everyone. Because here's the thing, at minimum, this card is saying you need to value yourself. You need to look at the life you're building and the abundance surrounding you, the people you love, the the loyalty of the people in your life, your pets, your your job, your money, your this, your that. This is about appreciating what, what's in front of you right now, living in the moment and recognizing not everything in your life is shit, even though sometimes it may feel like that and sometimes you feel... Yeah, really put through the ringer, particularly by a Gemini or a Capricorn, though it doesn't have to be. 
So sorry, guys, my camera froze. So yes, uh, even though you may have been put through the ringer by you know some other person, this is saying you do have a, like a lot of things going in your favor. A lot of things are going right, even though you may not feel like it. It's Earth energy, so it's moving so slowly you might not even realize that you are progressing. But this says that you are. The wheel turns forward; it doesn't turn backwards, right? I just heard, if I could turn back time. And that may have to do with a person in your life, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, let's hop into your actual person who's coming through in the spread. Now, it's, you're going to have to do some detective work because you have two people coming up here absolutely 100%. So it's up to you who you want to kind of uh, attach these messages to. I'm just going to read them for you. So your overall person coming up is Eight of Wands, and it's called the card of Journeys. This is frequently a card of Sagittarius to me, so wanting forward movement, wanting to travel, wanting change, wanting, wanting sparks, wanting magic, wanting excitement. Uh, yeah, venturing in a new direction. Um, so then their headspace is Knight of Swords, but it says drama, drama mama. So yes, they could be an artist, they could be an actor, they could be a playwright, maybe. That's, a, you know, that's an indicator for one or two of you. Is typically a card of um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person is... They, they bring with them a lot of drama. Again, some of that could be theatrical drama, but it could also be drama with words. This person may like to press your buttons. This person, I don't know, there's something about the intention of this card. It doesn't feel like just lighthearted. It feels like they have heavy words to be spoken. And how I said you were both fighting for airtime in a relationship, this could be an, an indicator of that, particularly if you guys had a child together in this relationship, that I am sensing there was a divorce there. Again, maybe not for everyone, but... So their heart space, they have Six of Cups, so support. That's a beautiful card. Again, Six of Cups is nostalgia, the past, uh, soulmate type energy. So this could absolutely be a, a soulmate in terms of, again, you, you walk away from this learning valuable lessons about your shadow self, the darker energies that you allowed to sort of invade your life unknowingly, right? Nobody just welcomes that in intentionally, but you're walking away with lessons, but it's... it's um, what is the expression? It's like a bitch. It's a bitch to have to learn these lessons because it's not fun, but ultimately it, it is divinely guided because it's making room in your life for better opportunities that they're just going to make you much happier. It's going to be so much easier in the next one. There won't be such a struggle. There won't be such like fighting and, and, and arguments. Some of you are dreaming about a water sign from the past. I keep getting that message, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it was unmatched in the past. It was something about this person gave a lot of love and affection and attention to you, and either you kind of friend-zoned them or you tried to date them, but you just weren't in a place where you could give as much as they were willing to. So I do think you're looking back on that and maybe regretting it or questioning, did I miss out on something that I'm supposed to go towards? And Flat out, the answer is no. You never miss out on anything because you control your life. You control your destiny, right? So if some of you are thinking, maybe I'll shoot this person a text. Maybe I'll, you know, look them up on social media or LinkedIn or, you know, whatever it is. You, you can absolutely do that. You can absolutely go back and try and repair or fix something, right? Even if it is with this person, right? For some of you who have children with this person, it does seem like you guys are going to need to be a support uh, team, or I'm sorry, a support system to one another, at minimum to deal with the child that, that you have between you, even though there may be temper and arguments. It seems like there needs to be some sort of open communication so that you guys can, can it seems like a mutual interest to raise the child, right? It's not going to be like full custody on one side or the other. Um, so I do think that there will be forward movement and progression in, in at least making this as civil as possible. Because here's the thing. Two people have walked away with some serious damage from this, right? You, you both. Those are brutal cards, right? Oh, the energy is just absolutely brutal. There was an element of this relationship that was quite toxic, but for those who relate to this story, the beautiful blessing that came out of this was that you had a child together. Uh, that, or at least a teenager is sort of what I'm getting, so depending on the age. But anyway, Leo, I think, again, as, as you pursue more dating interests, if that makes any sense to you, you might be returning to the past to, to reconnect with someone again this this wouldn't be someone who you have a lot of resentment towards this more feels like someone that it's all, sort of like you question are they the one that got away like should I have pursued that more you you have a lot of questions about them I'm not sure you're fully convinced but you're certainly thinking about it and they're they're showing up in your heart space so and maybe you're waiting for an apology from someone or vice versa. Maybe you feel like you didn't give someone the time of day when, when they needed it or deserved it. And so you may be going back to, to re recalibrate the scales with someone. Um, could also be another earth sign. In fact, it, yeah, it could be. If it's not a water sign, it might be an earth sign. 
Um, so then in their heart space, they have rec- so you ca- again, you kind of have two people showing up as your person. So yeah, do with that what you will. Six of wands is coming up in your person's action. So recognition that that's like a do du- a du- duality, a dual message, because it's saying the person that again, if you have a child or a business or something that needs to be salvaged in this divorce, let's just call it that. Right. Again, the details may, may differ slightly. There will be a recognition that you guys need to come together and either make a peace offering so that you can move on and go your separate ways, or the idea of we have a baby, we're going to raise it together even though we don't love each other anymore. There's something about coming like a peace offering with someone. That can be the Six of Cups too. Um, and then in, in another way though, this is saying if you were to reach out to someone from your past who again, there's no animosity, there was just kind of an unequal distribution of feelings, they would recognize the, um, the communication that you put forth. They, I don't think they would go dark on you. I don't think they would just not return the text. I don't think they would, you know, block you on, on their social media or their, or their phone or however you want to say it. They would recognize that you may come kind of out of the clear blue. This person wouldn't be anticipating you coming back into their life, but it seems to me with the six of wands, it, it's in a sense, it's a victory. It is your card. They, they do still think about you. Or if you were to come back in, even if they haven't thought about you in years, the way they view you, it is still very positive. I, I heard knight in shining armor. So that's what this could be too. I don't know why I'm being called to say this, but something about drama class, theater. If you did something with a person of the past that was very like arts and entertainment, or music or something about that I think this person had like a crush on you or something like that where if you were to come back into their life not that I'm saying they're not necessarily already dating someone because they might be that message hasn't really been clear to me but generally speaking if you were to go back to someone to the past that you have no animosity with it's always that person you've always kind of questioned or wondered about they would still recognize you as a significant person in their life, if that makes sense. I think they would welcome you in, in a sense, but romantically, I'm not totally sure where that stands. So, in fact, let's, let's see. Why is, uh, recognition is good here. Uh, something about winning an award. I don't know. It's a major award. <laughs> let's think of the Christmas story. Have you guys seen that? The leg lamp. It's a major award. Put it in the front window. And the mother's like horrified. Stars. Yeah, you snuck away from this person when they were just starting to catch feelings for you, but it's almost like in, in the stars, it might be divinely guided for you guys to reconcile, to reunite something in the past, and because there's potential there. It's someone who, when you think about them, it just it makes you feel like you're soaring. It makes your heart sing. It's very lighthearted. It's not this energy. Um, though it could be a Capricorn that you're thinking about. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, you guys were cute. You may have been high school sweethearts or something like that. It, it feels very positive, the person who you're thinking about potentially reconnecting with. <clears throat> Butterfly healing card, self-employment. All right, so that's, that's a shout out to one or two of you who are considering that. Again, something about a new opportunity in your career. This felt very good if you're putting out resumes or job offers, or maybe it's, it's the seedling of the business you're trying to start. Again, give it time. It's earth energy, but that card's coming out for a reason, right? So shout out to my, my solopreneurs, right? Those Leos out there trying to do self-employment. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, seriously. These cards. I'll take one more for Leo, please. One more. Okay. Yeah, this, this is beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for confirming this message. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Literally everything we've been saying, right? And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Very importantly, all right? Don't let your pride get ahead of you, right? It's, it's okay to be humble. It's okay to be vulnerable and ask for help where you need it. Absolutely. Let's throw some zodiac signs on this mother and we'll wrap it up. <laughs> they keep wanting to fall off the table. Cancer came flying out. So some of you may have been dealing with a cancer or will be dealing with a cancer. And I feel like you have been showing up in cancers reading a lot too. So again, if, if you're looking for new love, cancer might be looking good for some of you guys. All right, so you got a whole bunch fly out. Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, and Sagittarius. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonates. See you very soon for more tarot. Bye, Leo.